Hey guys, welcome back to Love Neck, and I'm with Jenny, aka Hey it's Jenny. Yes, go subscribe. Um, after the video, yes, watch the video first, please. Um, so we're doing a tag video today, which we have found on Google. It's called the Sun Kissed Summer Tag. As you can tell, we're in the sun in the back garden at my house. The dog is down there. Um, I think she's sleeping. He's a bat or hiding. <laughs> so yeah, there's 15 questions. We're going to try and get this through without going into like a blabby situation. Blabby situation? Blabby situation. We're calling it a blabby situation because I'm not redoing this. Um, so, question one. Where do you most enjoy the sun? At home, with family, or hanging out with friends? Um, well, I don't really do anything when I'm at home, so hanging out with my friends. See, this is where I'm a bit of a because it's my full body, and I like hanging out with you. Me too. I do like my peace and quiet. Kind of a bit of both. <sighs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Beaches are full. 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 Or hill. Not hill. Yeah. Which is a hill. Uh, three. Three. Are you going on a summer vacation? If not, where is your dream summer vacation? So we are actually going on a summer vacation to Hagerston Castle at the end of June. Yes. Um, yeah. Mid June. No, mid June. Eighteenth. Eighteenth to twenty second. Eighteenth. Yeah. Mid to end of June, depending on how you want to count. Um but um thinking of June vacations that I can afford, sort of, ish, that would be Palmanova that I went to last October. But if I could afford it, which I can't, it would obviously be California. Yes. Um, I can't afford that either. <laughs> Too expensive. Um, what have we Four. Four. No, we've done four. No, we haven't. No, we've done four. S'mores or ice cream? Ice cream. Ice cream. S'mores is good for winter. Yeah, s'mores are more of a winter thing. I feel like it can be done more like a bonfire. Yeah. Whereas I feel like ice cream, you can just sit in the tub. And just sort of eat it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all you can do with ice cream unless you've drunk it. That's true. Although, mm. sometimes you can leave it in the sun for too long and you end up just like getting it. it. <laughs> yeah. Um, five. What is your most fun summer memory? So, mine was many, many, many years ago when I was a lot younger. Um, it was the time we went up to Kalashnikov in Fort William, which is a nice wee caravan park. Me, my mum, my dad, and lucky. Um, we all went up there and the first day it was bucking it down a rain. Like raining cats and dogs and fish and everyone. And we put up the awning, we had to close all the windows and we were just like in this little igloo of a caravan where the rain was pouring down. The second day we woke up and it was scorching. It was so hot, there was no wind, anything. It was that hot. So we had to open all the caravan windows, we opened all the um, zippers on the awning and you just see this dog run out onto the awning, straight towards the lock and he just sits in the water. <laughs> and he just sits in the water and he's just like, he almost, you could almost see the steam coming off him, like he was cooling off. But he would not come out of the water until we threw him like a stick or a stone or something and then he would come out. But it was that hot. That me, my mum, and dad both like burned our skin off because we brought no sun tan lotion that day. Because you think it's just going to be that sunny? No, the weather forecast was rain, rain, and more rain, so we were just like, eh, not bring any. And then turns out we burned. Um, For me, was when I went on vacation with Nicola like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, 2015? 2016. 2016. Almost, almost two years ago. It's not quite. Um, and uh, it was a time where I went out of home a lot. <laughs> we went to the loft. Oh Not yeah. The loft, the lodge. Yeah. And um it was just like you know, I've never been on holiday before at that time. And mm. it was like, Oh, I don't school that time, I want to and I didn't have any parents. Well, mm. I had a parent but <laughs> yeah, she was annoying. Although um, that vision was very funny considering she sat on my, my neck and I was like, size. She wiggled her bum, she fell off, 
just for Katie's my knee, landed on the floor, and as I look over, I just see this <laughs> on the floor. So I hysterically giggle, pop my knee back into place, and then cry laugh for like a good what, like one minute. Mm -hmm. And you're just sitting there complaining, and I'm just gone, dead. I was so confused. <laughs> you were. Um, well, on uh, six. It stirs your skin tan or burn. Mine stirs both. So I don't even see from my shoulder. Hopefully. So I burn my shoulder like here from the sun on my back. Um, but the rest of me has started to tan. For a redhead, it doesn't look tanned, but for a redhead it's tanned. For the redhead, I'm usually like a milk ball. So I'm actually tanning. <laughs> so I just stare at the sun a little bit longer. Um, for me, I tan. <laughs> it depends if I'm like at like if I'm abroad, and it depends if the heat is that humid, then I will burn a little bit. But it comes to see, as you can see, yeah. brown. <laughs> How do you wear your hair in the summer? Down, ponytail, etc. Well, I usually just wear my hair like this. To be honest, if not, I'll just tie it up in like a bun type bunny thing. Whatever I'm doing. If it's too hot, but half the time it's just sitting with a wee clip on the side of my head. Um, I do this little hairstyle. Sometimes I have it a pony, sometimes I have it down, and maybe like a hairband, maybe depends on how I feel like it. <laughs> um. Oh, Eight. and hang on. Uh, it also mentions ombre as well. Oh yeah. So um, I don't know if you can tell, guys. I've got a lot of blonde in my hair. Recently got it done a couple weeks ago. So there's even more blonde in there now. So I do love. The blonde, it's a really nice summer look, especially with the red hair. Yes, and me, currently I have like greenish yellowish hair. <laughs> um, it did used to look blue, um, as you can tell like two months ago into a video that I made about blue hair and tattoos. Well that was really really blue, now it's just faded so I'm getting like a purpley pinkyish colour. Yeah. So. Uh, not all my hair, oh, trust me, Whoa. not all my hair, just uh, bits like from like maybe here, then there, or whatever. <laughs> um, number eight. Number eight. Favourite summer nail polish? This. <laughs> um, so these were actually done today um, by Lime Salon and Keating. Shout out to Sarah at Lime Salon who does our nails exceptionally well absolutely incredible artist and I recommend going there is one in Inverkeithing, Bridge Street and a new one that's coming to Falkirk um, in Scotland. I don't know if it's open yet. It is. It was launched. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, didn't know that. Um, so anyone recommending who needs their nails done, their hair done, their eyelashes, their eyebrows, anything else, even those children and men's, please, I recommend so much you go to Lime Salon. It's a little bit more expensive than others, but the reason why it's more expensive it. is because it's actual, like, proper, like, professionals. Yes, every single person that works there has complete graduate degrees in their major. Yeah. So. And cool. there's a plus side. When someone's a graduate, you get it for half price. <laughs> yeah. So, so cool. my hair cost about 65 to get it like you know um to get it like bleached out to get the whole blue in get it cut and everything cost me about 65 pound or maybe 70 pound or something which it would have probably cost me about over 100 pound i got my hair done for 40 pound so as you can tell my hair is very thick and very curly well not very curly mostly curly um so it only cost me forty pound for the uh, bleach, the toner, and I also got head massage. Came in the package, um, and obviously I don't get my hair cut. Barely get my hair cut. If anything, I even barely get trim. So it was just for the blow dry itself. So really good pricing and well worth it. But moving on to the next question because we're now we're rambling. Um, would you rather spend summer the outside or in the pool? Or inside watching Netflix. I would rather be outside at the pool watching Netflix. Or in the hot tub. Or in you the hot can tub. Have, yeah. You can like um, put it beside or something. Yeah. 
and you've got like a floor thing that you can put your little screen on and you can literally wash it dry your own house with. So yeah, really good. Let's just hope that doesn't fall in the water. It <laughs> usually doesn't. Uh, sunglasses or hats? Sunglasses. Do not put a hat on my head or I will murder you. I remember when I used to wear hats. Yeah, uh, I used to be a weird child. <laughs> Love it. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go with sunglasses too because sunglasses are re- sunglasses. Sunglasses. <laughs> They're easier to take uh, on and off when you don't get a hat here. Yeah, and... They're very fashionable. What is your summer song of the summer? I have a very weird taste. So anything that I like that day or that week or that month, that would be my song. Same here. Um, And by the way, it says, what is your song of the summer? Not what is your summer song of the summer? (laughs) I just wanted to say that. Do you have a summer bucket list? If so, share some things on the list. I only have one thing on a summer bucket list, and that's just get out of bed in the sun. Don't stay in bed all day. When it's a nice day outside, get outside. Yeah. Keep um, the technology with you. That's kind of like me. Like, I mean, I've got quite a... Well, I don't have much of a big garden like Nicholas, but I do have a medium-sized back garden, hmm. and you can get some things out there. I mean... Goodness sake, I've got a trampoline and I haven't used it in, like, mm. forever. I mean, I'm not exactly going to jump on it, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can, like, literally go on that and sit on that and just watch something. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'd probably be. 13. Uh, bikinis, tankinis, or one-pieces. Um, I like tankinis because it doesn't show your belly. And I like one-pieces because you just pull it up. Um, and I'm starting to kind of, like again. I mean, I used to wear them quite often when I went on holidays. Like, I remember I went to, was it Benidorm when I was 13 and I took like four bikinis with me. <laughs> I was Why just not? like, I need different ones. Yeah. And then I got really fat. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. She's like, you look fantastic. Exactly. Um, I like all three. Um, so I like tankinis, I like one pieces, and I like bikinis. It's just however I feel that day and whatever is easier to take off after it's ringy. I'm soaked. Because sometimes with one pieces, they kind of just didn't <coughs> want to move and they sort of roll. Tankinis, well, when the tankinis went up the way, it tends to get stuck on a few things. No. Um, so that's why I kind of like bikinis, because that way it's just like strap, strap, done. <laughs> and also, bikinis can like be like quite flattering and... Yeah. Really pretty on you. I quite like high waisted. High waisted bikini bottoms with a good, proper, sturdy, folded together top is a great bikini to get. You know what? The reason why I like high waisted is because it doesn't show the belly much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, must have summer makeup product, mascara, and eye brows. Um, a little bit of eyeshadow, not too much because you know you get sweaty and you sometimes rub your eye. Um, a little bit of mascara and some lippy or some lip balm. lip balm or something to moisturise your lips with. Yeah. Um, Favourite thing about summer? Just the sun. Yeah. We're Scotland. When the sun comes out, it's like, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> you done it, so I wanted to do it. <laughs> I was doing it once. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but we, like, when it gets too sunny, we can't deal with it. <laughs> Because our like our country is not exactly America or any other hot country. <laughs> My dog's about to bark. So I'm gonna go. Yes. So that this one doesn't annoy me. Okay, let's end it now. <laughs> okay. Bye. Subscribe to Jenny and subscribe to me and like this video and I love you. Bye. Bye.